So let's talk about we have the uniform of Colonel Kabulok <laughs> in front of us now. Um, you know, we everybody we see all the we see soldiers having so many ribbons um, on their uniforms, all pins. What does this? <laughs> okay, kela <lang>, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Walang walang COVID. <laughs> na, 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 <laughs> swab. Swab naman tayo. De, may turok eh, may pa. Turok din. <laughs> <laughs> so what what does all these um, ribbons, patches, uh, ribbons and uh, pins uh, signify? Kumbaga? Can can you explain? Let's let's explain. Uh, let's let's give examples because it's an audio audio file also. So let's talk talk about it. Explain. Oh, so ito, ito yung aming uniform. Eh. Um, symbol siya ng serbisyo sa ating bayan. Okay. Sa pamagitan ng military service. So marami naman pagsisipi sa bayan. So isa sa talagang kakaiba na symbol sa pag- pag-serve sa ating bayan ay itong ganito, yung green uniform yung sa army. Signify na army siya. At kakaiba siya sa among the public servants kasi magtaas kami ng aming kamay habang suot ang aming uniform eh, that we are ready to die for our country. So yun ang kaibahan. Wala yan sa teacher, wala yan sa mga mayor, wala yan sa governor, wala sa iba. Sa amin lang mayroong ganon. And so, yung pagsusuot ng uniforme ay napaka-symbolic para sa amin at napaka-bigat ng aming responsibilidad because we are entrusted with the security of our country. At ang ibig sabihin ay hindi namin balasobasin, hindi namin bastosin, hindi namin ipa Hiya, hindi namin ipahiya yung Filipino people na nag-trust sa amin para suotin ang uniforme. Mm. So, yun ang parati naming uh, uh, iniisip when we are wearing uniform. And so, lahat ng mga nakalagay dyan ay may kanya-kanyang symbols. So, when we wear the uniform, unang-una, nakalagay dyan yung aming pangalan. So, mal- maliban sa, because this is green, I am the, from the army, It's not only a, I'm not wearing only my name, my my family name, but also the army, Philippine right. Army. So ibig sabihin, lagi kong iniisip na habang sinusuot ko to, I have this responsibility na hindi ko ipahiya ang Pilipinas at saka yung army. Then my name, the name of my father. So lahat lahat 'yon. And nakalagay diyan din ang iba't ibang uh, mga attachments na uh, nag nagsisimbolize ng iba't ibang mga bagay. Yung andito ribbons. Unahin natin ang ribbons after natapos na ako sa pangalan ng ribbons. Uh, yung dito sa left side ay ang mga ribbons na personal awards. Okay. Ang sa kanan ay ang unit awards. Okay. All other schoolings, mga courses na dinaanan ay mayroong mayroong kagaya nito. Parehas kami ni Demi niyan, yung uh, CG, uh, parang katumbas ng CGSC. Ito yan. What does that mean? Uh, Australian Command and Staff Course. Parang requirements siya para ikaw ay mag-assume ng higher staff positions or battalion command. Ito so yan. you went to school in yes. Australia for that? Same yes. with you, Colonel. Yes, Zerala. so. Uh-huh. Kami ni Harold. Then, of course, ito yung sa Scout Ranger. Ito yung tabak. Uh, uh, para i-differentiate ko lang, tabak and tab, iba yun. Tabak, supposedly, yung knife na yan, hindi yan yung tab na tinatawag na Scout Ranger Tab. Ang Scout Ranger Tab, ito yung sinusuot dito. Hindi lang, right. uso sa, hindi lang siya uso sa Philippine Army na sinusuot dito sa busco. Yung nakalagay dyan, Scout Ranger, yun yung tab. In other countries? In other countries, sinusuot sa ganito na uniform. Okay. Oo, sa, lalo na sa uh, Army Blouse. So, wait, can you, let's talk more about the tabak. What's the significance of the tabak? Who can wear the tabak? And why is there so much gravity in this tabak? Um, yung yung tabak ay napaka laki ng ah, sabi natin uh, yung, yung pride kasi na dinadala dahil 1950 pa siya siya yung uh, parang striking unit or striker o rapid deployment force na binuo pa noon sa panahon ni Magsaysay and so yung kanyang history ay uh, malalim na yung history niya when it comes to counter insurgency operations at marami ng mga pangalan na nakatali sa dito sa tabak na ito. Okay. So, para sa lalo na sa mga sundalo, ay uh, parang galit sila kapag may nagsusuot. ba diba, may nakikita natin social media, ba't siya nagsusuot ng tabak? Hindi naman siya scout ranger. Hmm. Dahil galit sila, dahil uh, kumbaga, kung sino-sino, ay, parang stolen valor mm-hmm. na ayaw nila yon dahil 
napaka-symbolic sa kanila yon. So, ang nagsusuot ng tabak ay Scout Ranger graduate at yung honorary right. uh, honorary members na recognized ng FSRR. Um, ayun, so I remember else? before we move forward, no, I remember uh, last year Colonel Sagala, I remember when uh, during the Star Magic Ball, Jared <laughs> si <laughs> Anderson and uh, Jared Anderson ba? Oh, si Gerald and, uh, and the rest of the... Else, they wore a small tabak pin in their oh. in their uh, barong ba? Or, or yes, barong. Yes. But that's Wala a different story. Hindi, hindi ako nag-attend sa... Uh, <laughs> that, that was a different story. Yeah, but it, in the military community, talagang bakit sila sunod, nagsusot ng tabak? Bakit <laughs> then, yan? Then, bakit uh, to? Then, then, then. I think it's more civilian yung nag Ah, okay. civilian. Uh, okay. uh, actually, sa military nga, natuwa nga kami. Uh, okay. <laughs> Because we, we, we are giving those tokens uh, to people. Okay. We are giving those. So, ba- bakit? Hindi yun ganito eh. Oh, maliit yun eh. Maliit na. Parang, parang, maliit yun. Uh, half so the size. In their, in their side, in their perspective, they wanted to com- commemorate the, the rangers. Yes, they wanted yes. to give respect to the rangers. Yes, yes, diba? yes. yes. But other people I, I were think saying, at that time they had their show. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, yeah, so, yeah. And then uh, their show, uh, Soldiers Heart, Rangers ang nag- Rangers and, and I think there was no uh, harm intended. Uh-huh. They wanted they were just proud na kasama nila yung Ranger and they were hindi naman ganyan ang sinuot nila. Yeah. To be fair to them, ang sinuot nila yung token yung maliit. Right. And uh, I think nag-overreact lang yung mga uh-huh. netizen ganyan. Pero masundalo kami, la ako, natuwa ako kasi <laughs> Who would talk about us, di ba? Star right. Magic. Saan ka nakakita Star Magic lalabas yung Ranger Tab, di ba? So, da, da pa, da pa everywhere. Oh, da pa everybody diba? talks about oh, you guys. Di ba? <laughs> diba? Okay, okay. So, yun. That's the sobrang bigat na tabak mm-hmm. uh, tinatawag nila. No? Mm-hmm. Yung ano, uh, i-add ko lang yung, yung ribbons ni, ni uh, Harold. May medal yan. Okay. Siyempre, hindi mo masuot mm-hmm. lahat ng medal. So, yung medal, das may ribbon, di ba? Mm. Na sinusot mo. So, para hindi mo nasuotin yung medal, they just get the piece of the, the ribbon. Ayan na yun. Mm. Okay. Kasi some people, some people think malilit na flags. No, no. Ah. Those are the ribbons. No? So, okay. Tapos mo makikita mo may mga may mga appurtenance. Kikita mo may mga appurtenance. Ibig sabihin, uh, several times na na-receive okay. yung award. The na, star meaning? Uh, for example, yung yung medal ni Harold Don. This is he, he received the gold cross medal uh six times? Seven. Seven, seven times. Wow. Gold cross medal uh, uh, seven times. Can you explain one, to our viewers and our listeners? Uh the gold cross medal is a award that was given during the time of the Commonwealth Army na for gallantry in action. Kaya ang, ang medal niya ng mukha ni Quezon. Mm. Kani Quezon. Kaya, kaya lang we don't have a sample. Okay. So So seven times uh, si Harold has proved himself in combat. So seven, seven times. times. Uh, he was so, recognized. So yan yung mga appurtenance. Imbis na susuotin mo seven more times, malalagyan lang ng appurtenance para to indicate na y- you've received the award multiple times. Right. right. So yon. Katulad ni dito sa yung new unit award niya. Three oh, stars. Four, oh, three stars. Four times siya nakareceive ng ng PUCB. Pres- oh, ng presidential unit citation. Going up here, you have their your tabak. And what's this other this this other sword? Uh, follow uh, me. U- U.S. Infantry School. Okay. Uh, uh, so you uh, went to the U.S. to do also infra- your infantry yes, course there. Infantry course. Uh, wow. Yung kinoh, maraming class don. Uh, yung U.S. Ranger na so sa din yan. Okay. No, advanced, basic, advanced. So yon yon. Sa akin don ay uh, infantry mortar leaders course. Mortar. Mortar leaders course. Uh, yon yung course na ayo kung kunin pinilit lang ako. Okay. Kasi ang gusto kong kukunin doon ay sniper course. Mm. Pero ang open during that year ay mortar gunnery. Okay. So sabi ni Jalvin Luan, yan, sniper din yan. Kukunin mo na. <laughs> <laughs> Sinundan ko si Gerald, Gerald Durante. Uh-huh. So yan ang course namin doon. Ah, kayo ni Gerald Durante? Uh, yes, Gerald. nauna siya. Sumunod ako. What about this one on the right? Um, this one is uh, yung pin ng uh, The Outstanding Philippine Soldiers. Wow. TAPS. Okay. Uh, so yan yung binibigay pag uh, awardee ka nun. Galing. Ah. Galing. The one on the right? Uh, yung isa, PSYOPs course yan. Oh. Uh, yung sinasabi ko sa'yo. So PSYOPs course, <laughs> nan, kinukuha oh. ng SF as part ng uh. course nila. Okay. Pero mayroong separate course. So na, how do you know if you're telling me what you're telling me is true? It's always true. <laughs> Actually, misunderstood. It's always true. It's always true. <laughs> Actually, misunderstood ang, ang PSYOPs right. na, na because of the Germans. Si Joseph Goebbels yeah. na 
sabi niya at uh, a lie that is told a thousand times becomes the truth. Ang psyops actually is based on truth. Based on right. truth. Uh-huh. I remember because diba, nag- you placed me into the the CMO schooling mm-hmm. and uh uh Kern Lagamon mm-hmm. she said Mateo always remember we are always anchored <laughs> by the truth. The truth. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's true. Diba? Totally. That's true.